Hello and welcome to my August favourites video. That is late and I apologise for that, but life gets in the way sometimes. Yep. This month has not particularly been the summerist, summer, summerist, summeriest, summeriest of months. This has probably been the coldest and wettest August I can remember ever. I don't like it really. Where is the sunshine gone? But yeah, so can't really say I've enjoyed this month particularly. The beginning of it was good because it was my birthday. Fabulous. And it was sunny on my birthday actually. Um, but towards the end of the month, not loving your weather. Just not feeling ya. Okay, literally the time right now is 25 past 11 at night. So this video is probably going to be quite rambly and a bit random. So hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I'll start with... Um, I'll start with makeup and then we'll go into random bits. Okay, so the first thing is, I'll start with this one because I've had it the longest. So this is the Precious Illuminating Bronzer from Kiko. And it's a quad color uh, bronzer. So you've got a, like a light brown, a darker chocolatey brown, um, a beige, and also a like correcting purple. This is a bit of a spontaneous purchase. Actually, I'm going to be honest, all of the makeup things I've got here have been spontaneous purchases. But yeah, this was a spontaneous purchase. I find it really difficult to find bronzers, as you will know. Um, but I've had this for quite a while now. I think, I can't remember when I got it. I think it might have been like June, May, maybe even May. I don't know. But, but yeah, this month I've just really, really been liking it. It's like a matte, it's a matte bronzer. It's not sparkly or anything like that, which I really like. I don't like being pale. I always find bronzers that have bits of glitter in just kind of make me look a little bit too orangey um, but this is a matte one and also the purple in it just works beautifully and there's a tiny tiny bit of shimmer in the purple but it works really nice as a highlight um, and I tend to just brush uh, brush the brush down one side so that one side of the brush has got the highlight on it and one side I've got the bronzer and then just really gently sweep it up the cheek and it gives a beautiful, beautiful finish. I really, really, really enjoy this. Perfect pale skin bronzer slash highlighter thing. And how cute is the packaging as well? Love it. All about the packaging, me. Okay, next few beauty pieces. These are a bit more on the pricey side compared to Kiko. Kiko is very, very well priced. Um, but I needed a new concealer and I asked on Twitter and this is the one that a majority of people recommended to me. So I went and got it. It's the Ur Ur Urban. Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I've got it in the shade Fair Neutral. This is quite new. I've only had it for like a week, I think. But I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. I've tried to apply it, well, when I first got it, I applied it with brushes um, and I really liked the finish but it wasn't really lasting very long and then uh, the last couple of days I've applied it with my beauty blender and the finish is beautiful like as you know if you watch my videos I don't really wear my, um, foundation I tend to just like a concealer and a powder bit of concealer under the eyes around my nose and um, on my chin and just on my forehead and then I blend it in with the beauty blender and the finish of this gives is beautiful. Like it's a really, really light um, consistency. Really like sat on the skin. You don't know that you've got it on. I'm not a fan of cakey makeup at all. I much prefer to go for something that's a lot thinner. It says complete coverage concealer, but I wouldn't say it's complete coverage. It's it's like a medium coverage. I would say. And um, if you if you suffer from really dark circles, I wouldn't really make, recommend this. But if you're just wanting it for like skin like colour correcting, then go for it. Um, it is a bit on the pricey side. I think it was $17.50. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, worth a try, I think. And its lasting power is really good as well. When you've set it with a powder, it does last all day. With a lot of other concealers, I found they just kind of wear off a bit because they need that foundation to kind of stick to. Um, but this one, you don't. I've just found this beautiful. It goes on so easy. Oh, hair. Yeah. Um, it goes on so easy. Um, ma I really like the applicator as well actually, I'm not a massive fan of like, like wand applicators of concealer, they're not the most hygienic. But I really like this one, it's really wide um, and fluffy and just, I love it, my voice is going really croaky, I think it's because I'm so tired. Um, but yes, that's Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer. Now the next thing I got at the same time and I wasn't planning on getting this. It is a naughty purchase for me, but I did it anyway. Um, it's a YSL mascara. This one is the Mascara Volume Effect Foam Seals 
and I got it in the waterproof because I was finding a lot of my mascaras were smudging quite badly under my eyes and like around like on my eyelids and things and it was driving me absolutely insane um, and everyone was like we'll use a waterproof mascara but I'm, the reason I haven't really used waterproofs before is because I'm lazy when it comes to taking my makeup off and it's just really hard and quite harsh on the skin to try and get a waterproof mascara off um, but now I've got quite a good, uh, quite a good, what's the word, routine to taking my makeup off and I know I can get waterproof mascara off quite easily so I was like right I'm going to try it and I'm so glad I did. Like it doesn't, okay it might have smudged a little bit but I have actually had eyeliner on underneath so that's probably from eyeliner. <laughs> Please excuse this, it is half, like, half past 11 at night right now. <laughs> so yeah this is the one that I got. I'll show you. I really love the packaging. It's mixed. It's gold and rose gold, and then with the um, Yves Saint Laurent symbol on the front. I'm not sure if this is one of their classic ones, but, but I really, really like it. And then the wand itself is like a long, thin wand, and it's like a. It's got soft bristles on it. I don't know if you agree, but for me, mascaras are never, are never their best when you first start using them. They're always the best um, after you've used them about three or four times and they start to like, starts to mix up again and things like that. So I'm just gonna take out this wrestling. And so when I first used it, I was a bit like, oh no. Mm. And for 25 pounds, you don't really want to be thinking that. But I stuck with it and I've been using it every day since I've got it and I'm just absolutely adoring the effects that it gives. And it's lasting powers beautiful, like your lashes don't move, they stay exactly where you put them with the mascara when you first put it on. And yeah, like there's nothing really bad I can say about this, apart from maybe it does clump a bit if you put too much on at once. It's really easy to layer this, so I would say start really gently and layer it up rather than trying to go full hog to begin with because it, it can clump. But it's a beautiful, beautiful dark black, really accentuates and elongates the lashes, makes them look really thick. Um, and yeah, I just love it. I have got it on today, but like I said, half past 11 at night. It's been on all day. Same with the concealer, like this face has been on all day and all I've done before filming is popped on a bit of powder because it's half 11 I don't want to do my face again. <laughs> um, so you can see how well it's lasted and today's weather has been absolutely awful, like chucking it down with rain, windy, horrible my point from the beginning, this is not August weather people, come on. Okay, now it's not August, it's September when you're going to be seeing this because it's going to be after midnight. So yeah, really loving that. Okay, next we're moving on to life things and the first thing is this deodorant. It is the Shaw Maximum Protect Antiperspirants. This is the stress control. It's so their new, they brought out the new range of moisturisers, I was going to say, it's definitely not a moisturiser, of deodorant. Um, and they do quite a few, they do like extra strength, blah 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 blah, blah. but this is a stress control one um, and as you, well you might not know, if you read my blog you know I suffer from anxiety so as a lot of people do actually, I've noticed um, so I was trying anything really now I don't know if it actually helps with anti-stress but for sweaty and stinky armpits it's pretty good if you ask me Like. It says you can put it on, um, what does it say, hang on. This protection lasts throughout the following day, even after a shower, and that is correct. Like, if you're anything like me, and this sounds completely gross, but sometimes when you're, you're up late, you just don't have time or you forget to put your deodorant on. Now, this is always in my bag, so it doesn't really matter, but if you forget to put your deodorant on, it doesn't matter because it lasts to the next day, and it really does. The smell of this one kind of reminds me of a posh, posh person's toilet. <laughs> if you smell it, I think you'll know what I mean. Um, but I do quite like the smell, I mean it smells fresh and clean when it's on and it does what it's supposed to do and it lasts a really long time so I've been absolutely loving this. Um, and this is the first one I've ever got that's not like a spray, it's a cream and you kind of twist it up at the bottom and the cream comes out of the top and yeah, do what you need to do with it. And I really like it, like it soaks in really quick, it doesn't go on your clothes, which is a big worry of mine because obviously at work I have to wear black all the time, um, so I was really worried that it was going to start getting like uh, deodorant marks and stuff on my clothes, but it doesn't do that, it's really really good, so highly recommend this if you are looking for a new deodorant. Next is this little razor, it's the Venus, I can't remember, I, I can't remember what it's actually called, I think it's called the Venus Snap. 
that might be completely wrong, but it's their, their travel razor basically. This tiny little razor here. Um, this was on offer in Boots and that's why I picked it up. It was on offer for like £5 instead of £10 something. Um, I would not pay £10 for this, I'm not going to lie. So I just picked it up and I love it. Like, I don't know, with me, when I shave my legs, this video is full of like personal details here guys. Um, I always hold the razor really low down anyway and because this one's so small and cute I, it was, I just felt like it's just more precise and I found it a lot more comfortable to use if you ever find a razor uncomfortable to use I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about but yes I just really really like this I like the size I like the shape um, I love Venus for um, for their razors anyway they are a bit pricey I think everything's a bit pricey to me today because I'm very poor uh, it's also very like nourishing on your legs as well like sometimes when I use a razor like this they can be left quite dry and I'm like covering them in moisturizer afterwards um, but this is quite nourishing when you put it on as well and it, honestly it leaves your legs feeling so smooth I absolutely love it so again this has been on offer a lot in boots so worth a try if you ask me if you use these I've always wanted to wax my legs instead and I've done it once and I would do it again but I'm not going to rush out to book the appointment okay moving on to more this is like a clothing thing um, this is a bit TMI but recently I have been absolutely loving sports bras instead of bras. I just find them so comfortable under clothes, like under jumpers. I've got one on today and I just really love how this looks, like the crossover straps there. I really like how that looks. Um, so I've got this one that I've got on and it's blue and pink. This was, That one was from TK Maxx. I've got this one here, which again is from TK Maxx. What brand is this one? The symbol's like a B with like fast things coming off of the back. Wow. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is a grey one with the dark grey, super comfortable, absolutely love it. And then this one I've got from, this was from Sainsbury's actually, and it's just black with pink stripes around the bottom. I just find them so comfortable to wear, um, just under, I've already said this, under like jumpers, um, and they're quite nice to wear, like strappy ones like this are really nice to wear if you've got like a really simple wide neck t-shirt or yeah anything like that I just have been much preferring to wear sports bras instead of normal bras and they're way cheaper than normal bras like seriously how expensive are bras these days and hard to find in your sizes that are comfortable they're just not comfortable okay so my card just said it was full so I've had to um, import all of them and then start again so if it looks a bit different that's probably why there you have it my very random August favourites video that was filmed at what is the time now the time is now midnight so yes please thumbs up this video for me being very committed and filming this video so late at night and I'm probably going to edit it now as well and upload it because I kind of want to I want to get it up <laughs> For you uh, so yeah um, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching I'm so close to 400 subscribers which is absolutely insane thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to me it means so much um, I've just started snapchat as well like I've had it for ages but I haven't really used it but now I'm really getting into it so go and follow me on there and um, I will leave my link somewhere around here because I can't actually remember what it is so I'll put it somewhere here. Make sure to go follow me on Snapchat. Um, leave me your Snapchat links below as well. I'm literally obsessed with it. So, yes. As always, all my other social media links are down below. You've got Facebook, Twitter and Instagram down there. Go and follow me there. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully not looking quite so tired and sounding so croaky. Bye-bye. Also, I hope this video has been loud enough. I haven't really talked very loud because it's so late. I'm hoping the microphone has picked it up. <laughs> but yes, good night, bye bye!